Welcome to Love It, Like It, or Leave It. I haven't done one of these in a while and I have a few items here that I have tried and worked with and so forth and now I can make a complete and total judgment on how I feel about it and whether I love it, like it, or would just leave it. So here we go, let's just jump right in. First off is um, something that I've been using in my hair lately. It's not inexpensive. Do I think that this is better than other products on the market? Kind of, but maybe not so much that it's really worth it, depending on what you want to do with it. Basically the idea is it is Hair by Sam McKnight. And I thought this box was so cute, I brought the box too, to show you this one with the bobby pins. This one is my favorite, to be honest. This is called the Easy Updo. It's a texture spray, and I love a good texture spray. I absolutely adore the Dry Bar um, Triple Sec. I use that all the time for extra texture, and I love Oribe uh, Dry Texturizing Spray. Those are my just all-time favorites, but I always like to try new ones because neither of those are inexpensive either. Um, I really like to get some, my hair is, it's just silky, you know, so it's very hard to kind of hold anything. I need to get some, some I don't want to say grit because I don't want it to feel dirty either in there, but just so that it doesn't constantly just fall flat straight in my face. You know, I need to just be able to have a little bit of something to it, so like, like these pieces don't just go completely over my eyes, that kind of thing. And this is called Easy Updo by Sam McKnight. And what it says here is, use fewer hairpins and get grip that won't slip for a secure hold on chignon, ponytails, braids, top knots, and any other updo. So you just shake it and you spray it and it's got a really good spray to it and it just gives you enough, um, you know, like, like my little side pony here, give it some little oomph and it just really, really works well for that. Um, keeps everything in place. You want to do a ponytail but your pieces always slip, slip forward, this will be your best friend. So I'm really enjoying this. And then the other one I have here is the Modern Hairspray. So what's modern about it? Well, here's what it says. It is a multitask styling mist. It's straighten, volumize, texturize, and set. Holds hair where you want it, then brushes out with ease. Well, many hairsprays also claim that same thing that are less expensive. Yes, it's true. Um, I do feel like this works a little bit better than many of those, but again, it's up to you whether you wanna give this a try and see if it works much better for you, enough to, to put out the cost for it. But I will link these down below in case you're interested in giving them a try. I really like them, especially the easy updo. I'm all the time wanting to put my hair back, but I don't want all the pieces falling forward. So this works so well for that. Loving that. Another thing that I've been working my way through, I don't do this as often as I probably should, but I am enjoying them and I do see a difference. It's the Peter Thomas Roth Clinical Skin Care 24 Karat Gold Pure Luxury Lift and Firm Hydrogel Eye Patches. And I've used these before, I've shown them before. They come with this cute little spatula. And then you just kind of use the spatula to scrape one of the little patches up from the, the group. If I can find the picture of me wearing these, I will. But you can either put them on this way if you want more, to get rid of more of the bags and so forth, or you can put them on this way if you want to target more of the crow's feet on the outside. So I am really enjoying them. I tend to put them on um, not the crow's feet way, so there's more here because that's where I have most of my, you know, crepey older skin happening. And I do feel a firming effect, especially if it's like right before a special event or a dinner or you're going to go out to do something, you use this for 10 minutes and I set my little Calm, it's a, um, an app on my phone for a, like a 10, 15 minute meditation. So I laid, I put these on, I laid down on my bed, I set my Calm app and when that's done, these are done. It's, it's just so perfect and it feels so good and then just kind of pat the rest of the serum in. Oh, love it. So that I would have to say I love it. Here's a new thing I have tried. I have been very much enjoying Clinique foundations lately. I've tried the Even Better, the Even Better Glow. I love the um, the one that has that giant doe foot applicator. I'll figure out what that's called. Uh, so I thought I would try this one because it's another Even Better and it's the Compact Makeup Broad Spectrum SBF 15. And I have mentioned this before. Um, it does have the little doohickey here. I rarely use. Um, usually I use a Beauty Blender or a Real Techniques um, expert face brush. This works really well. Beauty Blender does work also quite well with this. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. There's quite a divot in there. Um, I, it's easy. It's just so easy. You can just touch up. I don't know. I just really, really like it. And it covers well and it lasts well and it's just so simple and you just go with your Beauty Blender and all over and you're kind of done. It's just really simple. I love it. 
really good stuff enjoying it very much i like that it has spf in it i have number six ivory so that's the one i'm using um this top gets very fingerprinty but it could be used seriously as just like as a mirror so yeah really enjoying that one i love it i think it's great and I love this brush too. I may as well throw that in there because this has been, if I do any brush application of foundations, this is the brush I use. I've tried others, but for some reason I come back to this one, the Expert Face Brush. Really, really enjoy it. So I love this brush. It's a good one. You can pick it up at Target and places like that. Okay, I have mentioned these. I'll swing by this real fast. I've mentioned this before in a haul that I did from Ulta. It's a NARS kit and I think it's a really good one, especially this time of year. I have been wearing these nonstop. I just have it set like this on my counter in front of me where I do my makeup and then I choose the color of the day, which has been very fun. It wears well. It feels so good going on the lips. I really do like this kit. I think it's a beautiful one to uh, give as a gift or you can split them up as a gift. Great, can't say enough about them. I really like them a lot. Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury came out in the smaller little, it's just more narrow. It's the, uh, what is it called? I can't think of what it's called exactly. There's a name for it, but it's not the regular pillow talk. It has kind of a little bit of a shine or a shimmer to it, whereas the regular pillow talk is more matte. I love this. I believe it's limited edition, so I do plan to buy another one sometime soon because I don't want to be without it, and I hope they come up with this in a regular set because it is such a good one and one of my all-time favorite colors. And I just really love that it has a little bit more of a slip to it and a little bit more of a shimmer, sort of. So yes, definitely love it. The lipstick I'm wearing today is as close to red as I usually get. Um, I'm not really a red lipstick girl, although I probably need to try, try that more often. And one day, someday, I will pop on here with red lips. I really hope to do that sometime, but this is the one I always use when I wanna go toward a red. I like, want a darker type of a red. It's the Bite Lipstick in Nori. Such a beautiful, beautiful color. This tiny one, I have the regular size, but this tiny one comes in the new um, bite, little bite set for uh, the holidays at Sephora. It's such a gorgeous color. It's a deep, kind of a brownish red, which is what I really like about it. So I love it. Let's talk about something I don't love. Um, okay, let's get in there. I always hate saying anything negative about a product. You know, I just want to tell you my honest opinion and my honest truth. Many people will show you everything and tell you how great it is, and but many people are trying to sell it to you too. So, and I'm not. Um, decide what you think about it, but this is my honest opinion, but let's just jump in. Okay. I tried this Chanel CC Cream Correction Complete Super Active Complete Correction Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I tried it and I tried it and I tried it again. I bought it originally because I wanted to compare it to the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, you know, that, that CC foundation stuff. Love that product. And I love that it has SPF 50 in it. Well, this does too. And I thought, well, let's compare the two. Let me see what I think about this. Um, I, oh, I tried and I tried and I tried and I'll be perfectly honest with you. I could not get this to work well for me. Um, at first I tried it with my beauty blender, which I usually always love a foundation with my beauty blender. It's a little bit uh, liquidy sort of, but not too much, obviously. I mean, it's not runny, but it's not thick. It's a very nice consistency. It feels good going on. I don't know what the deal is, but I just could not, let's see if we can get the cover up the nori. I just could not get this to work on my face and not look like it's just sitting on my skin. It just wouldn't go on well. I tried different moisturizers first. Um, I did not try it with a primer. So I will be perfectly honest, I did not try it with a primer because I don't use a primer. And I have many foundations that work beautifully for me without a primer, so I don't wanna have to. I figure I shouldn't have to use a primer with it. So I tried the Beauty Blender. Then I tried my all-time favorite, Expert Face Brush by, um, Real Techniques, and with both, I would get streaks. I would get, um, I, I don't know, it would just, I like, I could see through places. Parts would be more covered, parts wouldn't. I, I tried it so many times is when I'm trying, I don't like it. I'm sorry, I don't, I wanted to. I really, really wanted to. For this price especially, I really, really wanted to. I did not. It's gotten many, many good reviews, so there you have it. 
I know a lot of people love it. I know a lot of people love it. I, I just can't get it to work. If you can help me out with finding a way to make this work, please let me know because ugh, it's not happening. It's not happening. The only way I could find that I could leave the house <laughs> after putting this on and trying it with every way possible was to apply it. I've tried with my fingers. I've tried brush and I've tried um, beauty blender. So I would apply it with any one of those techniques or a mixture of all three. And then if I took a clean, damp beauty blender afterwards and carefully bopped it over the whole surface, I could make it look less brush strokey and working. I tried less product. I tried more product. I... <sighs> so for me, I would leave it. So sorry, but that's, that's my truth. I hope it works beautifully for you if you've tried it, because I know it works beautifully for a lot of people. There's that. Um, another item that is new that I thought I'd give a try is the It Girl by It Cosmetics. This palette. How perfect is this palette? You have your uh, matte shades here. You have some shimmers here. And in the middle, you have a highlight you know, kind of radiating down into a blush shade, radiating down into more of a bronzer. Beautiful mirror, beautiful packaging. Absolutely love all that about it. What's not to like, right? I do like this. I really do like this product. I do have issues with it though. For some reason, I cannot get the colors to show up well on my actual face. It They swatch well. Um, let me just give you an example of this one right here. They swatch well. Uh, this one doesn't, I cannot get this one to show up on my eyes at all. But as you can see, it looks beautiful on the skin. I use a brush. I've tried using my fingers. Um, it does show up more with fingers on me. I am wearing this today. There's nothing wrong with it. It works well. I love the mattes and I love the shimmers. I love the color selection. I love the idea that it has this in the middle. But like I say, I cannot get the colors to show up well on my skin. I feel like I have to apply, 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 apply. Um, it does kick up a little bit extra dust too. You know, extra product kicks up a little bit when I insert my brush into that. And that's another thing that's a little bit not terribly pleasing. I love it cosmetics palette. So this was a little bit, hmm. But I have been using it and I will continue to use it. Now this part here, I find a little bit di difficult also. For me, let me see if you can, I can get that really close. For me, the biggest amount of product here of mine shows up to be the bronzer. I don't bronze much. Um, I don't use bronzer much, but I have used that one. And then this tiny little, this little bit in the middle is the blush color. Well, there's not really a way to get your brush just into the blush color. It really kind of spreads everywhere, which is a little okay. And I try to head a little bit toward the top part for some shimmer, um, but I don't get color. I don't get any kind of a pinky colored tone to it. I mostly pick up the um, bronzer color with a little bit of pink. So I'd rather have more of a that pinker tone, you know, pinky tone on my cheeks than the um, bronzer, but I'm not given a chance to do so very easily. But I try to get my brush just in there. And then the highlight, of course, uh, it's a beautiful highlight, it works well, but you're picking up part of the pink too, and I, it's not working well for me. I can get it to work. It's a great little, uh, it's a great product for traveling because you have a lot of options. It's all kind of there in one bit, but, I mean, it's not tiny, you know? I mean, you know, so I'd rather bring smaller bits and pieces that work better for me personally, although, you know, it's adorable and it works and I like it, but I, I don't love it. But I like it. Two new things that I've purchased recently that I talked about in my Ulta haul that I do really, really like um, is the little fetishes set from NARS. It came in a little round black um, container that is so cute. I have been using these quite a bit. I am really enjoying the colors and I really enjoy this tininess and I have been traveling. I took these with me to Las Vegas recently. How tiny, how perfect, right? So I love the Dolce Vita, which is the color of the blush. Gosh, I, I never know how to describe this color. It's just beautiful though. I love it. I love that it has just enough shimmer that it just get, gives you life. It's a really pretty color. Enjoying this one a lot. So I really, really like this. Uh, I'd say I love it. It's really good. This is the NARS highlight that comes in the set in, in Capri or Capri. Depends on if you're Italian or not. <laughs> we say Capri many times and I know that they say Capri, 
in other places. So anyway, um, this is the color. It is beautiful. I really like it. It is just a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. Doesn't show up much here as you can, but maybe I can get it to catch the light. I like that it is very um, subtle, but it definitely packs enough of a punch. Let me just use this real quick. Do you, you can see that, can you? With these lights, I mean, it just packs just enough punch where it's really, you know, you can definitely see it, but without studio lighting, it's not quite as, you know, blinding or whatever, but yeah, really enjoy this. Let me just throw in a little bit of this also. Now this is an expert face brush. It's not meant for, for this uh, kind of a deal. It's not meant for, to put on blusher, but I really do really like it. I really like it. So this little set of little fetishes by NARS, love it. Couple more things and stay tuned for a discontinued item that I'm so upset has been discontinued. So hold on. This is not new, this next item. And I have, I purchased it quite a while ago. I'm still using the same one. I know I'm not supposed to. I was supposed to throw it away in three months. Not gonna do it. I'm going to use it until it is dead. It is the Louboutin Mascara. The box is amazing. I've saved that even. I don't keep it in the box, but I just kept the box. I mean, look at this presentation. This would be an amazing gift, especially for that girl who loves her mascara and would never fork out the money and you wanna get her something nice. This is a fabulous, fabulous idea. I don't know anyone who doesn't love this, if they're being honest. I try not to love it as much as I do. I love it. It's hefty, which it should be for the price. It's a beautiful, beautiful container. All of that doesn't even matter. What matters is that it works so well. This makes my lashes look better than any other mascara I think I've ever tried. I am loving it. Um, I, I can't even say enough about it. It just, it goes on beautifully. One coat almost makes me look like I have false lashes on. Um, it's simple, it doesn't go everywhere. It does not clump. It adds volume and length without any chunks, if you know what I mean. It does not flake, it doesn't transfer. It uh, applies so easily, it comes off so easily. I love the brush. This is my favorite kind of brush. It's one of those um, kind of rubbery bristled ones with the tiny little bristles because you can really get up in there into the, the base of the lash, which is what gives you a big volumized look. So I have to say it once more, I love this mascara. So there you have that. <laughs> I really do love it. It's ridiculous. The price is ridiculous, but it is a splurge. It is wonderful. And like I said, I've been using it for about a year now. <laughs> Off and on, I don't use it every day. Um, I keep wanting to kind of save it for special. I know I'm not supposed to use a mascara that long, but I do when it's important like that. And I've never had a problem. So just keeping it real. <laughs> love it, love it. Okay, this is another one. I have tried this uh, Hands of Hope. It's by Philosophy. It is the nail and uh, hand cream. It's very nurturing. I have been enjoying it very much. I have like the driest cuticles possible. I try, I put lotion on constantly. Um, I put cuticle cream on several times a day even, and they still crack. I have no idea what that has to do with, but I cannot seem to get rid of that problem. So whenever I find something that's extra nourishing, I always want to give it a try. I saw this small one and I tried it from um, Ulta one day and I am really liking it. It does seem to give a little extra moisture to my cuticles when I put, the, you know, I just use it as regular hand cream and just whatever little extras in there, I just kind of rub into my cuticles and it's really, really helping quite a bit. And because I love the scent of grapefruit, I got sparkling grapefruit, but of course they have other scents, but yeah, give it a try, especially if you see one of these little bottles. I, I really, really like this a lot. Good stuff. I have natural nails. I don't have, you know, gel nails or acrylics or anything like that. I have had them before in the past, but I just, I hate those appointments. So if any time I can just have my regular nails, I do. Um, plus I like them fairly short, so it works out well. They're easy to take care of that way and so forth. So I paint my own nails almost exclusively. And I will have to say that most times that people ask me what nail polish I'm wearing or say that my nails look beautiful, it is this one right here. This polish and this color specifically. This is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry, and it does instantly dry. It's just so, so good. I do two coats 
by the time I've done this hand and then this hand, this hand is ready for the second coat and then this hand. So it works out so beautifully in that it does dry very instantly and you're out the door. I have much less chance of you know messing them up when I do it this way. I'll just put on a YouTube video or something that I'm watching and paint away and it's so good. Make sure that you do a wrap though with a little bit around to the top edge. And then sometimes I'll even add like just any, doesn't even matter what brand, a coat of clear over top that has a little bit of a gel shine to it. Um, that just makes them look so beautiful and I have so many people thinking that it is a salon done nail and they last. They lasted like a total week with no chipping, no anything. When I was traveling to Vegas recently, I wore this color. And this color is a Espresso, Espresso. My other favorite of this uh, brand happens to be the color In Neutral. <laughs> it's just a beautiful, you know, neutral color, like a little nude that just matches, you know, mannequin hands kind of a look that just goes with anything. I really, really like that one too. So yeah, I love these. Not just these two colors, like there's a wide range of colors. But uh, these are my two favorites, love them. I also like to give my nails a break sometimes too. I don't wanna always have something on them. And I have this new Julep Take a Breather. And basically, this is the one I got. It's in the, uh, the sheer pink. They have six different colors, they're all sheer. Um, this is the one I have on and I'm wearing it today. Loving it. The idea behind it is you can your, give your nails a breath. They can breathe, they're, it's an oxygenated treatment. So it says breathable oxygen technology, strengthening hexanol, hex, hexanol. It looks like hexanal. So they got that in there for strength. So your nails can breathe, um, they can be strengthened. The Julep Take a Breather, absolutely enjoying this to pieces. I like the fact that it looks like there's a little something on my nails, but it's doing some good while they are taking a break from polish. So I really like that a lot. Now it's time for a moment of silence. One of my all-time favorite beauty products that I have raved about for years and years is no longer being made. I even called the company to make sure because I could not find it on the website and the gentleman on the other end of the line said, yes, he doesn't see it either. That must, be, must mean that it is no longer available. The Sephora brand Instant Nail Polish Remover. Oh my gosh, this stuff is absolutely the best thing ever. It's got the little spongy thing where you stick your finger in there and just go R -r -r, and the nail polish is completely off no matter how many coats you put on there. Um, so good, does not irritate my skin, does not irritate my cuticles. Um, just everything perfect about this. I, I love this. So if you do see that your Sephora has it still, grab it, get every bottle of it you can and send me one, I'm kidding. <laughs> I am on the lookout for any that I can grab because I love this. It's the best ever. And why they discontinued it, I do not know, but it's no longer available. Uh, so I just wanted to give you a heads up on that one in case you can find it in your Sephora store. Uh, grab it. It's the best. And now I don't know what I'm going to use that I will like nearly as well as this. So if you have any suggestions for me, let me know. So that's it for my love it, like it, or leave it video this time. I hope that you found some good advice in here somewhere. Uh, again, if you love something I didn't, I'm so happy that you love it. It's just not working for me. Um, and if you have any ideas for me to make the products I don't like work for me, I'd love to hear that too. So thank you so, so much. If there's something you'd like me to try, let me know in the comments. And other than that, have a great day. Bye.